In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructs the hearts of the faithful, grant us with the same Holy Spirit to be truly wise and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord. Jesus passed through towns and villages, teachings as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? He answered them, strive to enter through the narrow gate, the narrow door, for many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house has arisen and locked the door, then, then will you stand outside knocking and saying, Lord, open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, we ate and drank in your company and you taught in our streets. Then he's, he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evildoers. And there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. When you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves cast out. And people will come from the east and the west, and from the north and the south, and they will recline at table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, you, Lord, Lord Jesus Lord. Christ. Praise Jesus Christ. Kita lin. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, in today's gospel, Jesus tells us, try your hardest to enter by the narrow door, because I tell you, many will try to enter and will not succeed. Number two, this narrow gate is the life's journey that is filled with temptations that draw us away from God and trials that test whether we love God and willing to live for Him and serve Him. Number three, in today's gospel, Jesus urges us to live our faith vigilantly and with deeper commitment. What is our response to Him? Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Titaline. Welcome. Yeah. So today's gospel is about the narrow gate. No, I have I have read in one of the homilies, ba, na it doesn't mean that you we go to church every Sunday, we give alms to the poor, um, we we are we are treating uh, the rest of our brothers by treating them well. It doesn't mean na. We presume most of the time no, we 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 presume that ah uh, we when I die I will go to heaven because I go to mass every Sunday uh, I pray etc. It's not a guarantee though. It's not a guarantee unless you you uh, do more something more um, because in uh, if you are presumptive it, it's a sin to be a pre, to be presumptive. So the sin of presumption. So do double edge ang ang sin natin if we can if we commit this uh, sin of presumption, no. Uh, number one is um yung presumptive tayo ba um um ang, ang isa isa we presume that we are gaining heaven yun we presume that's pride. Number two is kung presumptive tayo 
hindi tayo magreconcile hindi tayo magreconcile with the lord um we cannot confess our sins our i mean we we cannot confess our sins because we don't recognize our sins because of the presumption that you are doing good so you are already doing good so you know you are already saved so yun ang ano yun ang message of today's gospel so jesus wants us to enter the narrow gate like like what jesus said no many many will try but will fail because it's not easy to enter through the narrow gate so narrow gate is uh, doing the will of god um more effort more effort especially towards our relationship with other people which is ano which is um talagang ano um um challenging very challenging so we keep on saying no na it's not easy it's not easy it's not easy to to attain to have this eternal life you have really to work hard for it really work hard for it and we always pray no for the direction for the direction for the strength for the assistance of the holy spirit no to guide us and to guard us when we are in our way to attain to achieve this eternal life amen amen and bex you have something okay <clears throat> it says here the narrow door as followers of Jesus, we are called to participate in God's salvific act by aligning our life to a life worthy of Jesus' disciple. Today's gospel speaks of the narrow door, Stenis Torus, and of the teaching of Jesus concerning salvation. There is another parallel expression. The narrow gate, like a quote unquote, Stenius Pileus, found in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 to 14. On the one hand, the narrow gate in Matthew is contracted, contrasted with a gate that is wide, that is the Pile. Wide is the gate. This gate leading to destruction is taken by many, while the narrow gate that leads to life are taken only by a few. On the other hand, in today's gospel, the narrow door is not contra contrasted with the wide gate. Luke tells us that many actually would attempt to enter it, but will never be strong enough to do so. This implies that many will be inspired to follow Jesus, but would not succeed because of the demands of discipleship. As Jesus' disciples, we are called to a changed life and have it sustained to the best of our ability. Should one be saved and be an instrument of salvation for others, our changed life must continually give witness to a sustained, appropriate lifestyle. Amen. 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 So there so, is narrow gate, there's wide gate, yeah, no? Easy. Easy, ang wide gate, wala kang problema. Oo. Oh, oh. Huwag naman tayo magpatempt na we, we choose na. The, uh, the the wider gate, uh, like easy life, easy lifestyle. We have you to get, sacrifice. We have yeah, to sacrifice. sacrifice. So. We have to sacrifice, really. And whatever comes in our way, no? Mga pains, mga trials, yun mga sacrifices i-offer natin. Kasi if we offer all those things, no? All our our pains and sufferings, if we offer that to our Lord, no? Uh, that means is that means nakisali tayo sa 
sa sufferings niya. And then um, that's a uh, one way of uh, of uh, going through a narrow gate. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, just like Job, no? He welcomed his suffering, the sufferings and the you the know? sufferings of the loss of the loss of the loved ones and everything. Mm, everything he reaches his loved ones, out. everything out. Uh, and the Lord was so overjoyed when he saw that when Job. Uh, saw that one worm jumping out of his body into the street. He said, Lord, uh, worm, come back to my body. You don't have anything to eat there, but you can have my body as your food. Come here. Come, come back here. Oh, the Lord saw that, no? And it, it changed the life. It changed the life. So the the life that was lost was given back. He had a new set of loved ones. And you said the pictures. Oh. New set of uh, mission. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Bex. Uh Tita Bell, you have something for Tito Mani. Tito Mani Muna. Oh, Tito Mani. Uh, uh, Des Marinias. Marinias. Maganda. Okay. Uh, okay. It says. A lady who was very obedient to her Catholic faith was asking herself this question. What should I do to be in heaven someday? She herself answered her question by saying, I need to be at the Eucharistic celebration every Sunday. I need to pray the rosary every day and I need to humbly submit, submit myself to the sacrament of reconciliation at least once a year. She did all of these acts of piety, for she believed that this would be her passage to heaven. When she died, she was confident of having a hassle-free passage towards the door of heaven. However, when she was about to enter, an angel prevented her from passing through the door. Therefore, her acts of piety were not enough to enter heaven. So what is the secret ingredient that is lacking in a re recipe to enter heaven? In the gospel for this Sunday, someone asked Jesus, Lord, will only a few people be saved? Jesus said, strive to enter the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. Our acts of piety and worship for God are good, for it will lead us to know more about God, and it will surely deepen our relationship with him. But we still need to take that extra step to complete the recipe to enter the narrow gate that leads to heaven. We need to put flesh to our acts of piety. In other words, we need to translate our worship for God to living acts of mercy, love, compassion, humility, and the like. What is what? the use of going to Holy Mass every Sunday if we don't allow it to transform us? What is the use of reading the Bible if we don't leave the teachings of Jesus in the Bible? What is the use of praying the Holy Rosary if we don't leave the humility of the Blessed Mother? Marino, that's Marinas. Wow, beautiful. So, it's not enough, really. Now you pray, go to church, make confession, receive the sacraments. So it's not enough. That's what is uh, shown here in this uh, reflection. It's not enough. Because we cannot, uh, it says that we cannot save ourselves alone. See? You have to be in a community. You have to be in a community. So doing this acts of piety is not enough. You have to act on it. And you can do it with the community. 
And we must not presume. Kagaya sabi ni Tita MG. Presumption. Presumption is a sin. Kasalanan yan. Kasi when you presume, ah, I can do this uh, yeah. act or sin. Anyway, there is confession. God will forgive me. That is the biggest mistake there. Presum you are presuming that God will forgive you. See? Yun ang mali doon. Because you make confession, so you are you are free to do anything you want. Anyway, confess ka naman. Merciful naman si Jesus. Yeah, no. That is presuming. Presuming. Kaya pabigat yun na. That's a sin of presumption. Sabi nga din sa kasulatan, it is easier for a camel. To pass to the eye of a needle. Imagine, eye uh -oh. of a needle, a camel. So it's uh -oh. really hard. Very hard. It's very it's hard. Easy. Very hard. But it is not impossible. It is very hard, but not impossible. Yeah. You sell all your properties, all your assets, yeah. and give to the poor. Give to the you, poor. You know, mga challenges. In order, to say that the do the uh, the way to hell is wide, paved with good intentions. Sabi nga, it is paved with good intentions. Only good intention. Walang action. Ipuro intention ka lang. Wala hindi mo you don't act on those intentions. So wala nothing. So, aside from the works of piety, you must act on it. Gumawa ka ng, yun nga, yun siya. Love of neighbor. See, action, magailangan may action. Faith without action is dead. He's yeah. dead, ho. Yeah, it's dead. true. <laughs> St. James, the Bible, uh -huh. from St. James, and the, si Santiago. Yun, sabi niya. Even St. Paul, uh, he feared for his uh, salvation okay. with trembling, fear and trem trembling. Hindi siya nakakasiguro eh. Hindi siya nakakasigurado. Kasi noon, pinipersecute niya ang Christ mga Kristiyano, pumapatay niya. Kaya, in the gospel, we we are given that uh, message already now. How to be saved? It's not impossible. All you have to do is you have to do more aside from going to church, praying. Uh, you have do to do more than that. Yes. Care. Yes. Oh. Acts of mercy. Yes. It must be action, not just words. Put action in words. Good, good intention. Good intention. Amen. 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 Thank you, Tito Manso. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, um, ano, a reminder. Very, very nice reminder for all of us. That don't presume. Don't presume. The sin of presumption. The, the sin of presumption. Yeah, good example is, uh, oh, sige, anyway, God is all, ano naman, merciful. Anyway, I'm going to confess this sin and then you keep on doing it. So, you, yun, presumption. Kasi, kasi nag, uh, nag pray naman ako, nag uh, go, to, go to church naman ako, nag hear mass naman ako. Ma maganda naman ang relationship ko sa mga, ano, sa ibang tao. So, I am saved. No. Don't presume. You, we have to do more. Tita Bell, may ano ka, may kay Father Tito ka. That's what Father Tito also emphasized in his homily. Uh, in the three points that he uh, emphasized in his homily. Number one is when Jesus was asked, how, ma how many 
only few people will be saved. And he answered, strive to enter the, through the narrow door. And then number one, the Lord, diba the people who ask him, uh, why, Lord, we, we, we ate and drank with you. So that is the sin of presumption of privilege because there's a sense of entitlement. The people, what you said that you were you were going to church, you're going to church, you're going to confession, you're doing this, you're doing that. And it's like you are feeling entitled. It seems that you have you 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 presume the privilege that the attitude towards life that uh you are already saved because you did this when in fact you should cultivate your relationship with God and with your fellow men because in your travel in your faith uh, in your faith life you shouldn't presume that you are saved just because you you went to church it's really the good intentions in your heart the acts of mercy cultivating your relationship with god that will really save you, you know? truthfully honestly yung totoo talaga ba sa loob mo so number 2 the lord reminds us that uh to enter the kingdom of God, out of the kingdom of God through the narrow door is really a challenge. It's really a challenge. It's not an easy one. No? It's full of challenges. The Lord reminds us that entering the kingdom of the Lord is not an easy thing. You have to strive to enter the narrow gate and you have to work for it. Work for it. Strive to enter the kingdom of God. Then the third is the commitment, the Christian commitment. Because uh, committing to our Lord is not a one-shot deal. It is a life-changing moment. No? Several, several phases. No? In the context of your journey in your faith, faith journey, your mission changes from time to time. Your, uh -huh. ba, no? yes. Maybe uh -huh. you also have noticed that in our lives, no? Na from time to time, we change talaga yung, yung mission uh -huh. mo. Today, it may be this one, then several days or weeks or months, na change na naman. Iba na naman. Oh. Uh, iba na naman. Through the years, it really changes. So you have to strive also in the context of what you are what you have discerned, what's God's mission is for you. So from time to time it changes through the challenges that you meet. And you really have to strive. You really have to strive because our aim really is eternal life. At the end of the day, at the end of our lives, at the end of our life's journey, faith journey, it's really eternal life that is our aim. Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. thank you, Bill. Beautiful. Yeah. No? Yeah. So, beautiful message of today's gospel. So, any. Title. Yeah, and privilege. No. Oh, privilege. So the sin of sin of presumption. So apart from that, no, sa positive thinking na nagpipresyum ka na na positively. Oh, I'm doing all these things. I am sure that I will be there with Jesus. It's not pala, no? <laughs> yeah, remember no the young rich man. Yeah, yeah. The, young, uh -oh. the young rich man no. to sell his he properties. Did, yeah, he did everything, everything the commandments. Except, even, mm -hmm. if I, even when he was small, he did it already. He was compliant. Oh, with pray, all prayerful. The, mm -hmm. Oh, prayerful. All the laws uh -oh. he, he 
he I know he followed but one thing he didn't he has the riches that he clings to sharing with and he and he fell he fell sad yeah because he Jesus, sad. Jesus told him to to sell all he your assets so, and oh, come oh. and follow me yeah yun ang narrow road um Jesus was inviting him to pass through a narrow road and he he felt uh he and then he felt sad ba so People that means want... i see sige MJ. no Can no no it's okay no. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. because i remembered in one of the reflections of father danina in in israel there's really a narrow door we're in we're in uh people only only very it's really a very narrow road. I cannot remember when I was there, but we passed by that narrow door. I I don't know. Maybe I was just not listening. Because sometimes when you're new in a place, you seem to be distracted by others, no? Yung, uh -huh. yung malalaki na ano, yung ma ma maganda na ano, yung way. Distractures. So, you know, ma distracted uh -huh. ka so. The so may narrow is, road pal. Pero may narrow, narrow door daw doon. Ah, an, 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 there oh. is that door there. It's so narrow na you have to disembark. No? You have to disembark. Pipilitin mo makapasok doon kaya kung malaking chan mo, eh magpaliit ka muna. Hindi ka makapasok. Kaya lang ibig sabihin lang doon. <laughs> hindi ka pwede pumasok may dala-dalang bagahe. Yung mga bagages ba? Mga oh, bagages. Madisembark ka muna oh, daw. Yun. Yung mga, oh, yung mga, mga na... attachments. Yes. Oo, oh, 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 yun. Oh, yun ang ibig sabihin. Dapat mag-touch ka sa mga oh, attachments. I-detouch mo. Oh. Oh. It, yun. Kaya oh. narrow, narrow, very small narrow door. door. Oh. Oh. Kaya pag may kargamento kang dala, hindi ka nga mga... Hindi ka hindi makapasok. Hindi makapasok. <laughs> iwan mo. Oo. Oh, oh. Dapat iwan mo yan. So... Iwan mo talaga. So, beautiful message, no? Very nice. Uh, but about this narrow road. So, let's all remember that there's such thing as a sin of presumption. Huwag naman tayo mag-presume. Yeah. Oh, nandito eh. Ang sabi dito eh. And you will, and you will say, we ate and drank. We ate and company. drank. Yeah, with you. you. Oh. Street. But I do not yeah, know you. Oo. Oh. Yeah. Kaya sabi kasi, ni... Kasi, ang kuha niya doon is, yung sabi ni, ang palagay ni Lord doon, okay, you ate and drank with, in our, in our company. Me. But, oh. Hindi ka naman tumitigil sa ginagawa mo mga corruption kung ano man yan. Yan. Yeah. Yun, uh -oh. yun, yun ang uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. So, let's be careful. We let's be careful, no? And uh, Jesus is always inviting us to to pass through the narrow road because the narrow road will lead us definitely will lead us to the eternal life. If you pass by the narrow road, so ano mga narrow road, mga narrow roads na yan isa. Um, sabi nga ni Tito Mani, i, i ano mo, get rid of all these uh, extra luggages in our life, like uh, um, mga attachment to worldly attachments, so, mga attachments natin, and, and then yung i, i ano natin, iwan natin yung mga pride natin, jealousy, mga mga unforgiveness, mga mga so envy. many things uh, envy oh. I, i ano oh. natin yan iwan natin yan when we pass through the narrow para maka ano tayo, para maka fit tayo so that we will be able to pass the narrow road dapat is wala tayong mga extra luggages na mga material things yun kasi wala pa naman talaga madadala eh. Ano exactly. Ba mm -hmm. Ano pang dadalhin mo dyan? Oo, wala na. Tapos ang, ang tinitingnan is your real self, no? The inner, your inner self, yeah. your inner, yeah. your 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 soul, your heart, soul, and spirit, yun ang, ang, ang doon tayo ma-judge. Yung so, nagawa mo sa kapwa mo. Oo. Oh. 
kung ano, uh, what is inside your heart? Anong ginawa mo sa kapwa mo? Talagang, <laughs> iway talag tayo, no? Iway tayo ni Lord. O, oh, okay. May, yeah. may justice, ano, di ba? May weighing scale. Tapos, okay, you stand in there. Tapos, uh, oh, sasabihin mo, Lord, ito ang ginawa ko. Diyan, ito ang ginawa ko. Tapos, aakyat ka. Ngayon, sasabihin ni Lord, okay, ito ang hindi mo ginawa. Diyan, bababa ka. Diyan, bababa oh, oh. <laughs> Di ba? Yeah. No, because yeah. we don't know na nagkasala pala tayo. Sabi na nga, Tita Bell, sin of omission and sin of commission. Sin of commission. commission. Kaya, kaya ang ano is um, uh, sa ibang uh, gospel no past few days no eh, talagang pun talagang we will really fill up ang ano natin spiritual bank mm. yun para at least may, may pundo tayo ba uh, anong laman ng spiritual bank love <laughs> of others love of neighbors helping helping one another pray for one another and uh, many things good things Yeah. yeah, but you are subjected to everyday challenges lang yun. Exactly. Yeah. Oo, oo. Just be careful kasi yeah. very active ang mga, ano, yung mga distractions ba? Distractions in life. Just be careful. Yeah. Akala mo, you're walking oo. na towards the narrow gate. Oo. Tapos all of a sudden may temptation. Oo. Ala, naalisin ka dyan. Oo, dito ka. Dito ka sa ano, maganda ang road dito, wider yeah. and masaya, yun. Dito, yun, dito, ano, dito. Mga dito temptations ka. yan, Ay, ho, mga te temptations. So, so let's be careful lang. And, uh, ano. Wala, galaga. You are tested, tested with fire. Mm. Mm. Oo. Amen. Amen. Yan ang sinabi Amen. ni Father Tito kanina na para tayo daw na na tested with fire. Parang crucible ba? Sa laboratory natin, di ba? Crucible, oo. Oh, crucible oh. na i-heat. I-deep, oh, tapos i-heat. Para tayo oh, oh. pinadistilled para ma-pure. Yeah. Para, oo. Oh, part of purification natin yan. Mm. Oh, mga trials in life. So, kaya yeah, very, very uh, narrow talaga. Talagang very narrow. Maalis yung mga impurities. Yan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. natin. <laughs> so, that's it. Yeah. Very nice uh, discussion. Very nice messages. And uh, thank you for the for the piece of your thought. Your uh, Our nuggets, we help one another. We remind one another always. No? Um, yeah. Yeah. We remind Amen. one another. We pray for one another. Amen. 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 Uh, Miga Belen. Yes. Dear God, thank you for the gift of family. Please watch over each of us. Keep us safe and guide us in your love. May our home be filled with peace, understanding, and joy. Help us to support each other and grow closer together in faith. Amen. 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 And all together, please. Glory be to the Father, 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 to the Holy Spirit, to the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. to us in the beginning, and now and ever shall be, ever shall be, without without end. Without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank you all. Thank Very you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.